All right, so now I'm Mouse Man. Yay! A Mouse Man can stick to walls, which is pretty sweet. See, like so. But at this point, if you got used to having range, forget it. You have no range anymore. You can your hitbox is like half a character wide. And see how if I uh, if I hit down if I hit, hit basically hit the direction towards one of these uh, checkered blocks. See how the one I'm on gets bigger. Um, that's basically how I know that I'm that I'm clung on to whatever it is. Right, so here we go. So at the end of every dragon's lair, there's usually one of these treasure rooms that has some gold in it or maybe an item. And then usually the uh, the ones with the the windows are nice. The ones with the windows are um, the shops. So yeah, so I got the dancing shield. Now uh, it will give you a hint for every item that you get um, on which animal it's best for. So obviously this is a nice fit for rodents. That means that it's best for the mouse man. Now for like the lion, it may do like this is plus 65 defense for the mouse it may be like plus 12 for the lion or something like that so as you change characters later on you get access to more of them um you will have to adjust what you're equipping at what time so let's 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 see if um okay so that one's good 24 for goblin see only 12 okay so we, i want goblin as the mouse <clears throat> I think this is a weapon shop right here. Yeah, Night Shield. Fit for feathered creatures, but this is actually the best shield for the mouse, too, other than the legendary, I think. And then the Prince, ar prince Armor. Um, captures hearts and thoughts. So, some of the uh, descriptions of some of these armors are a little cryptic. I don't actually know what the special is. If it says plus special, there is a special effect. Like, there's one that lets you run through fire or, and lava without getting hurt. Um... But I don't know what the special for this Prince Armor is. Um, should probably look that up. Because not a lot of these are very obvious. Alright, so here's that uh, part where I said you can speedrun. Pretty much. Yeah. Gotta commit. Gotta commit. Alright, so in this one, the, uh, the fire chases you, which is cool. And then you just turn around, block it, keep on going. Get out of here. And actually, there's a secret room up here, I think, if I remember right. Even though the, that's not where the arrow says to go. If I can actually get up there. Right, forget this. There we go. Spider ball, this madness. And then you jump up here. Yep. Ta-da! This is just money. But money's good. Money is a good. Uh, actually, I have almost enough for that. That, um, shield, which will actually help me out a lot. So I'm gonna get just a little bit more money. And then go back for it real quick, since I'm almost there. Give me a much better shot at this next uh, dungeon. Early on, when you don't have a lot of health, you want to get all the, the upgrades you can. So this is another shop. I don't remember what's here. No, more attack for that. Mm, probably better to do that. Um, well, I, the, the rodent shield already gave me 70. Definitely want that sword, though. And then, uh, I could wait 300 and get the better armor, the much better armor. Um, mm, oh no, that was a shield, wasn't it? That was a shield. So what is the shield that I have right now? Dancing shield, 65? Oh, well that's not worth the upgrade. Oh, it's not worth the upgrade at all, it's actually less. Um, so yeah, so then I do want that too. 
You see, I'm a connoisseur, of course I'm a connoisseur. Alright, good. So, Mithril Sword. Okay. So, de decent attack bump there. So, really, if you're doing this the right way, you would just run right through those guys. Unlike what I just did. What I just did was dumb. Same like that. Doing what I just did, though, that's a good way to not get enough money to get upgrades. So, it's kind of a kind of a double-edged sword. Either you can kill the enemies along the way and get enough for the upgrades you need to survive, or... Hey, Deadbeat, what's up, man? Um... Or you can, uh... Speed through it. So... It's a speedrunner's dilemma. Ah. Oh, shit. I was trying to use my attack button and slide into that guy. It didn't work out. Alright. How's it going, man? Glad to see you. Glad to be back. Doing a short stream tonight, just... Um, because we're, uh... Packing up to... to go on the road tomorrow and um, I have a pregnant wife who needs help packing but uh, I wanted to get back into it so I figured I would stream until 9 or so and I figured I've been playing a lot of the Dragon's Trap lately so a little retro action there ouch for some reason, it's harder for me in retro mode. How was Vegas? Vegas was a lot of fun. Um, that is a that is one weird city. I'll tell you that. How was the past couple weeks for you? Did you ever end up getting this, by the way? Yay! I got a potion. Retro graphics are messing me up a little bit there. I've gotten used to playing it with the new one. It's a cesspool. Yeah, man. It's, uh... It was interesting. I mean... Everything was super expensive. Uh, food was good. I actually went to, a, went to a retro store. Picked up a... Got a good deal. I got a, um... CIB, uh... However that looks. Yeah, there we go. Right that. Nope, like that. Uh, codename Viper. Um... Oop. How about we don't die? Ooh. From a uh, from a retro store over there for fifteen bucks, which definitely a good deal on that. Um, yeah. And then also got the game that I really wanted to play tonight. Um, have you? I don't know if you've ever heard pr of the the Prinny series for uh, actually they're a hard time. I think. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard, the, heard of the Prinny series for PSP. Uh, super, super hard platformer series based in the, uh, Dis Disgaea universe. Um. Oh, that's right, this guy sells potions. Sure, I'll buy one. Um. But. Still littered. Littered with action cards? <laughs> um, I'm afraid I don't know, I don't know the, the reference. Oh, I just like a hit. Um, is there anything down here? Well, I don't think I've ever gone down before in this dungeon. Alright, so this one is my favorite music track in the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was gonna, I was planning on playing Prinny tonight, but it's been a, it's been a rough day, so I've, uh, not, like, bad, just, like, super draining, so I've, um, been, oh, I wonder if this is the door to get out. Oh, no. Huh. Oh, sweet. Um, so that's what I was planning on playing tonight, but ended up not, obviously, because things. 
Um, but I've never streamed a PSP thing before, so that'll be fun. Suckers are annoying. Uh, it's hard with the mouse, because really you have like no effective attack range at all. New is there, they had immigrants hand out cars for prostitutes. Oh yeah, no, no, no. People will, uh, and then like, like people will, um, just walk up to you on the street. Like, I was walking with my wife, who at least I would assume is hopefully, obviously, my wife, and, uh, someone just walked up, handed, handed a, uh, tried to hand me an, an advertisement for a strip club. I'm like, okay? Like, alright? I said no. Um, didn't even, didn't even entertain them, but... Oh, that's right. I should use the, uh, use the, uh, you know, what the, the character is built for here. Yeah, no, it was bad. Like I said, though, there, there was some good food, which was good. Good food is good. Oh yeah, these these jokers. The green ones take more than one hit to kill. You never know if they're gonna come down to the Euro level or they're gonna stay up there. Like that. <laughs> Great place to raise children. Yeah, I know, right? Although I did knock knock a couple things off my bucket list. I ate an at an in and out in and out burger. Um, which all of my friends from L.A. swear by. Which, it was okay, I guess? I don't know, it wasn't God's gift to the burger industry. Um, which I know some people would want to flog me for. Uh, but, and then I also, one of my friends from college was out there at the same conference I was. And so I, I called her, I'm like, hey, you want to have dinner? And she's like, yeah. Also, while, while we're at it, do you want to see me get married? I'm like, wait, what? And, uh, turns out her fiancé, who's from Scotland, which this part I knew, um, his visa, let me, my computer just wants to um, his visa was about to expire in 90 days, and their, uh, their families couldn't get on the same page about, ooh, that's an annoying place for those guys, because they just jump everywhere, um, their, their families couldn't get on the same page about the date, so they decided, well, we'll let's just get married while we're in Vegas. Holy freaking crap. Um, let's just get married while we're in Vegas, uh, just so that the, you know, he's le they're legally married before his visa runs out, and then they're just going to plan their wedding, uh, or they're going to have their wedding next year sometime uh, when the families can get on the same page. But uh, So I got to go to a, a, a wedding in Vegas, so that was, again, interesting. Interesting and fun. Yeah, Morwen. Yeah, you know that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, you know Morwen. I forgot about that. Stupid thing. Die. Um. If you don't know marketing that stuff on Main Street is weird. <laughs> uh, I think for anywhere else it's weird. Yeah, In and Out is good. It is good. Um, for sure. I was extremely underwhelmed with their fries. Like, really, really underwhelmed with their fries. Woohoo! So did you ever get this game, Debbie? And I know you said you were looking at it. Um, and I, you, uh, I think I said this before you tuned in, but my verdict on this game is like, is worth every penny for me anyway. So yeah, the green ones are annoying because they go all the way back up and they come back down again. Get out of here. Ouch. That one's annoying. He's kind of like at the halfway point. Get out of here. Taken down a beggar too. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that, that someone else is, is a little tired of hearing the in and out is just like the most amazing thing ever. Uh, I, I have a friend at work that swears by it. She uh, she keeps an in and out burger on her phone at all time. A, a picture of an in and out burger on her phone at all times to 
if she's having a bad day, she can look at it and re be reminded of how good it is or something. Um, I mean, it's fine. It really is fine. It's just not, you know, like the most, like the most incredible thing I've ever had in my life, which is kind of what, you know, it had better have been after our, all everybody says about it. But, uh, things will be back to... Um, like I said, I'm gonna end the stream probably after this dungeon. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll get to the next one. Um, but things will be back to normal on, uh, on Wednesday. Oh! So I went yard sailing on, on, uh, Saturday. Um, by with your cookout tray. Hey, cook, there's nothing wrong with cookout. Especially for the money. Um, I'm totally gonna have to use one of these potions. Ah, come on up, you stupid thing. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh, but I went yard sailing on Saturday and, um, got a box, uh, got an Atari 2600 and a box of 20 games. A couple of them are, like, really rare for 40 bucks. And I went up, went and, uh, Ah, you're annoying. So your invincibility period will last forever in this game. Um, for 40 bucks, and I went and looked up the total value of it, and uh, ended up being like over like 120 bucks worth of stuff that I got for 40 bucks, which was pretty sweet. And uh, the lady threw in a, um, a, a DSi and charger, too. So I'm pretty excited about that. So... Now that I've got two Atari 2600s, I actually just ordered a mod chip for the new one. So I'm going to mod it so that I can hook it directly up to my TV and I don't have to run it through a VCR to convert the coax. So, expect some more Atari stuff in the future. And ET with sound, since sound did, didn't happen last time. I'm, I'm still going to beat that thing, and I'm going to do it on stream. One of these days. One of these days soon, this summer. This is probably the easiest boss in the game, by the way. I'm actually really surprised I got hit earlier. Alright, so you gotta avoid the little little spirit dude while you gather treasure. Because if he hits you, then it's game over for getting monies. Ah, there we go. Alright, I got all the money, so we're good. Not enough Atari in your life. <laughs> hey, yay! I'm the I'm the fish man. Good. Now I can actually swim. Worth crap. I, I want to go and just grab the this guy. Is it this guy that drops the key? No, it's the little firefish. Grab that. Yay! I can swim. I can swim. Bum, 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 bum. It's funny, you weren't sold out before. Oh, he sold out because I've already got three. That's what it is. And return. 